Hi you guys, this is just Shay Davis and what I'm doing today is I'm building a trellis. So last year I did a mini garden and uh, I got a lot of vegetables and fruit and things from the, the garden. So uh, I did um, tomatoes and cucumbers and um, grapes and I just got a lot of things. So I was, that was just my mini start to a garden because of course it was the pandemic. So um, we wanted to be, you know, just safe. So I was trying to limit the amount of grocery um, trips I had to make to the stores. So that was my purpose of starting the garden. But either way, I got a lot of things, watermelon, cantaloupe, just all of that stuff. So it was good, good food. And um, so this year I started late and we put everything out in May because the, the weather's just been so up and down. So I started this um may and i'm putting all my seeds in the ground and what i'm going to do is build this trellis uh, out of bamboo sticks and twine get my twine so i'm just going to do it out of twine twine and bamboo sticks and i'm going to see how that's going to work this is for my these are for my cucumbers and so that's like my favorite thing to eat right now and so I'm going to do that. And I'm, what I'm doing is cut these bamboo sticks are about, I think, four feet in length. And I'm just cutting them in half because I have my um, cucumbers this year. They were in the ground last year. And I'm such a scary cat that, um, let me cut this right there. I don't like the sound of that. But nonetheless, it works. Um such a scary cat so when it came to um that works um when it came to a little off but hey perfection is not what we're looking for we're just looking for trellis so when it came to um digging down on the ground i got this thing like all my neighbors have been putting up that they have been seeing rattlesnakes we're here in texas and so I was like, mm -mm. so I didn't want my, my cucumbers to be on the ground this time. So I put them in a um, barrel uh, for this year. So we'll see. Because uh, I totally stopped gardening when they said snake. And I, was, mm -mm. I just gave up on the garden altogether. So thus, thus far, this is what I have thus far. And like I said, these are like, you can get these as long as you want to. These are like seven foot, I mean, uh, four foot tall. And I cut them in half because my barrel, I measure my barrel, which is approximately two feet wide. So I made sure that this was less than two feet wide. I made sure these stakes were less than two feet wide. I don't care about this sticking over outside of the barrel. I just want to make sure that it will be able to stick up in the um, barrel as necessary. So. Like right now, I'm going to secure this and it won't be so much falling in my face like it's doing now. But I'm going, I'm literally just measuring and I'm doing an approximation of the squares and I'm just tying the twine around it. So I'm going to lay this in here. Uh, I just thought about it when I was making this. I said, well, let me do a video. Maybe this will help someone else in their journey if they need to uh, try to make a trellis. So I'm kind of weaving the sticks in and out just a little bit for it to be a little bit more sturdy. And it helped me when I'm trying to, to put the twine throughout because it kind of it stays in place for the most part. And then I just have to put the twine on it. So I'm kind of going to tilt it here and see if, if I can't do it at this angle. It's just, you know, a little bit more difficult to do it at this angle, but we can get it done. So I am very hopeful. I'm very positive that I'm going to get a good crop of cucumbers. I'm being intentional this year. Last year, I was just throwing seeds down because I was like, oh my goodness, it's a pandemic. And I mean, everybody else, just like everyone else, they were panicking over toilet paper. And I was more thinking about food and survival because I was like, toilet paper, hey, it's a necessity, but you can always, you know, you know, accommodate some with toilet paper as long as you have newspaper old school, <laughs> if it really just came down to it. Uh, so I'm just crisscross, uh, crisscrossing this twine, and I'm going to bring it back, uh, right back around together. I may have went around like two times each way, 
and then I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna make a knot. Uh, and that's all to it. I'm gonna make a knot here. And a knot there. And I'm, that's it. I'm, I'll make it like two knots. I think some of them I may have made like uh, three or four knots on it just because I was beginning and I wanted to ensure that uh, it would stay. But now it's a little bit more sturdy. Of course, when you start with you know, none of them are put together. This, for the most part, is given, the bottom two have given this a little structure, so um, that's helpful. And this twine, this is really, really cheap. These sticks uh, may have cost me like $5 at the local hardware store, and then the twine I got from the dollar store. So, yeah, so this, this trellis is really, really inexpensive, so you can definitely make one. And um, none of these materials are very, none of these materials are, and you just take time and put it together. It's really about the time. So when you go in a store and they like $20, $30 for a trellis, it's, you're pretty much paying for the, their time and their shipment and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Their cost to make it and, you know, everything else built into it. But if you have a little time yourself, you can build your own trellis. It's nothing really, um, they don't have to be anything fancy. What it needs to do is be able to, to do exactly what you needed to do, which is hold your your vegetables up. And so I'm going to, like I said, last year I let the cucumbers grow across the ground. Then I was a little afraid to harvest. And when they started um, posting about rattlesnakes, so I didn't want to stick my hand down and get the cucumbers. So this, so this time I'm going to, I'm doing the vertical trellis. That's the reason behind the vertical trellis. So. I would encourage everybody to, you know, if you're going to start gardening, throw a few seeds in the ground. I mean, all it can do is either be successful or be successful in my mind. So uh, the seeds grow if you just water it. I, you know, by all means, I'm not claiming to have a green thumb, but what I do have is just a desire to, you know, just to be a good steward over it. So if I put something in the ground, I'm going to, at least go back and water it, take care of it, you know, try to harvest it and, you know, do right by the plant. And I think that's all we need to do if you want to harvest because everything else is natural. Like the sun is going to make it grow. The, the rain water, of course, is going to make it grow. And I even um, have some barrels out catching rain. Uh, I initially started off with a, a big trash can. I got it from the local store and there's a big black trash can. I took the lid off of it. And every time it rained, I caught rainwater. And then um, from there, I bought some, you know, some secondhand rain um, water catchers. And I've had those for years and, and they work. They work, they work, they work. And I started initially doing that when I was homeschooling my kids and I was just talk, teaching them about food and where it came from, you know, that kind of stuff. And so that's kind of how I initially got my garden. But I wouldn't, I wasn't as, you know, I was growing little stuff just so that they can see it grow. And now that, um, you know, they're older, they, they know how to grow things. They know how to, um, so they were really a big part of my garden last year when all this pandemic broke out. See, look how sturdy this is. I have to kind of maneuver, I have to push it. To weave these sticks, I have to push it, like, hold up against it. That's how sturdy this bamboo is. And so I'm going to put it right about, I'm just, I, I'm eyeing this. So it's not a, I didn't measure anything between the squares. I'm literally just iron, eyeing it. So I'm just going to kind of do this. And I'm going to put it there. And that's going to be my trellis. How easy is that? Trellis 101. <laughs> so I think you guys will be very successful. Like I said, these are like, I just, you know, I'm going to do a A-line trellis. I think I'm going to do another trellis just like this, and then I'm going to tilt it and tie it at the top together, and I'm going to put them over my cucumbers so let them grow up both sides because I, I put quite a few seeds in the ground, and when I'm planting, I, you know, I plant quite a few of them because, I, if, like I said, last year I was just throwing them down hoping that something grow, um, and then when I did get success with it, uh, I was like, oh, maybe I should have planted more, you know, is what, is what my thought process was. So 
Now that I know that uh, cucumbers grow pretty easily, uh, this year I'm, I'm putting a lot more um, plants down. And last year, because we didn't get a lot of rain, which we are blessed with rain right now in Texas, last year, uh, I think it was mid, uh, end of July, uh, the sun was so hot, it burned up my cucumbers plant. I mean, you burned the plants up. So this year we're getting a lot of rain. So a lot of people are complaining about the rain, but I'm like grateful for the rain just because I know that it's going to be good for our harvest. Um, giving me opportunity to, you know, to catch the rainwater. So if we do have to uh, go back on to uh, days that we can, certain days we can water and, and certain days we can't, I will have water for my garden. So I'm grateful for the rain. Very, very grateful for it. So when you're tying these knots, it doesn't have to be a rhyming reason. I leave the, uh, the bulk of the string attached and I just work with a long piece on the opposite end. So let me show you how I do that. I usually just, you know, start here and I just lay the, the spool down and make sure I'm eating over a little bit more with this one. I'm gonna make sure it's, at least have a little end to it. So I usually lay the, um, the string down, like I said, and I unwind some of it. And then I will just put for this part here, I'll just, Th thread this around and around and all throughout the the sticks so that it's kind of tying it together. Of course they're holding it, now, now that those are tied at the bottom, it's holding it pretty sturdy, but also I want at the top, I'm going this direction, maybe two loops, I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna go three loops and then I'm gonna go the opposite direction, um, about two or three loops. And then I'll reach um, back over to, to catch this piece and I'll tie the knots here. So it's really simple, not, not too fancy, but it's gonna serve the purpose. And we'll have something to hold our cucumbers up. Now with my tomatoes, what I think I'm going to do with my tomatoes, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna build a tree, I think I'm just gonna uh, stake them up with just one bamboo stick is what I think I'll do with those. Cause I don't think it's necessary. They, they don't vine up like these, um, these um, cucumbers do. I also have a, a grape vine out there and I just need to figure out because the grape vine is kind of growing like on lamp. So I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with the grape vine as well. So that I can kind of pin it up and let it, you know, run. My backyard is, the only problem is my backyard is not as big as I would, you know, like it to be. When it's growing season, I don't, um, I'm not a, you know, outdoorsy kind of person. Like I'm going out there to just sit out and enjoy the backyard. Very rare do I do that. But uh, when it's growing season, then then I'm, I think about a bigger backyard, like right now. So, um, because my backyard is not that big, I'm trying to maximize space. Because I still want some greenery back, you know, like yard, like green grass and stuff. But, um, oh, I need to ask for some advice. If you have a peach tree, I, my peaches every year, they are, my, my tree is loaded with peaches. However, they stay green. I'm not sure exactly what I need to do to get them to turn the uh, the yellowish peach color. So if you have, please leave a comment below if you know what to do or what I need to put on it. I don't know if I need to put a certain type of fertilizer on it or not, but uh, my peaches do not turn each year. Now this has been probably uh, year number five. I get peaches every year that stay green and they fall off green. Never have I gotten a peach that I can actually eat off of that um, peach tree. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong or what I'm not putting on it. So if you know, please come in below and let me know and help me out with the peach tree. But so this is our trellis. We're gonna stick it in the barrel, either like this or I may A-frame. I may make another one similar to this and it'll be an A-frame. So I'll be another one meeting it and then going to this level. I'm gonna have to see if the barrel is big enough. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one and then um, 
I may take you guys out there to see exactly when I stake it up in the ground. Or you, you'll see when I harvest um, my later on in the season when I harvest, harvest the cucumbers, you'll get to see uh, the cucumbers kind of growing up the trellis here. So not bad for less than $10, not even probably less than $7 actually, because I got the, the twine for like a dollar and I got a ton of bamboo. So I got this whole package of about several bamboo sticks, I don't even, four, four foot, um, Pies is what they call the nat all natural bamboo stakes. And they say they're heavy duty. So I got these for like, I want to say like five bucks, maybe like $5.99 or something. So for like $7 and a little bit of your time, there you go. A successful, a successful trellis. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if this video was helpful for you. Let me know if you want to see me doing more videos in my garden. Um, I'm a baby gardener, but hey, I'm getting there. And I, again, I've, I've uh, actually this year I've already harvested uh, some black uh, berries. So that's just the first thing I've uh, I actually was able to harvest uh, thus far. Again, we had a, a very tough winter for here in Texas with the freeze, and then we had several cold days. This is June, and like today, the temperature was like in the in the 60s. So that's like unheard of in Texas. So we just got to get a uh, different weather than we used to. So hopefully we'll have a longer growing season. So today I put in uh, bell pepper seeds and uh, onion. And uh, so we're going to see how those take off. I'll keep an eye on those as well because, again, today is June the 3rd. And if those take off, I think we're going to have a long growing season and I think we'll get a good harvest. So thank you guys for watching. Again, if you know anything about peach trees and you know what I can do to get my peaches to turn from green to the actual peach color so I can harvest this year, please leave a comment below and let me know because I would love to have some peaches this year. Okay, thank you so much.